Good afternoon, students, staff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for celebrating with us today. Before we begin today's proceedings, we would like to show our respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet, the Kumbaberry people. We welcome Year 12 student, Juliet Levinge, to welcome our country. Balgun Yangai, Anya Jimbalang Walu, Anya Nari Juliet Levinge. I would like to welcome you to this place, Yugambe land, on behalf of my ancestors and elders, the Kumbamere people, who have taken care of and respected this land and its waters for millennia. With this welcome, I would like to ask that you too take care of this jargon, this country, like my ancestors have, for Mobo Jarjums, tomorrow's children. Nanyabu. It is now time to sit back and enjoy the bright minds of QAHS as we welcome you to the 2020 Queensland Academy's Health Sciences Academy Awards. We welcome our official party to the sounds of Academy Strings performing Christmas Concerto, Opus 6, Number 8 by Arcangelo Corelli. We welcome the entry of the official party.
Please stand for the national anthem performed by Eloise Bentley and Rowan Murray and accompanied by the Academy students. celebrate the bright minds and brilliant futures of the students here at the Queensland Academy for Health Sciences campus. I and Matilda Shirley, alongside a very smartly dressed co-host, Samia Khan, have the pleasure of managing proceedings for today's celebration, which this year looks somewhat different. Yes, it does, Matilda. I must say, I feel very relaxed hosting this year's event, seeing our familiar smiling faces, and I'm content to know that our community and parents are joining us via live stream today. If I'm blatantly honest, I'm trying to do my best not to wave at any cameras. Me too. Whilst our 2020 Academy Awards may be virtual this year, our awards are still extraordinary. Today we award 72 gold badges, 50 silver and 42 bronze badges. And for a first time today at the Academy, our Global Learner Community Awards, valuing excellence, effort and community, will be awarded to our Year 10 students. I couldn't agree more. The Academy certainly does drive our successes. If there's anything I've learned over the past three years, it's the importance of community and connection as we journey ourselves through the IV Diploma Program together. Today we celebrate those who have realised their excellence within and beyond the Academy. We warmly welcome representatives from the Department of Education and Training, the Queensland Academies, Griffith University, the University of Queensland, Bond University, students, parents, families, and friends, and community members who are live streaming here with us today. We hope that whilst you cannot be physically present with us, you enjoy the celebration of our successes here with us today. 2020, our 13th year, and as a relatively young school, the accolades have been affirming, and our successes continue to be many and extraordinary, even during the times persecuted this year. QAHS is a unique learning community where we are all, with the professional support of our staff and administration staff, are continually encouraged and support and are continually exceed our expectations. The outcomes are the energies of the students, staff, parents, and the broader community members who so positively support our school are evident and are to be celebrated today. I invite Ms. Vanessa Rebgitz to give the principal's address. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, university partners, colleagues, friends of the Academy, parents, students and staff. Well, I echo the sentiments of our most excellent Year 12 co-hosts, Matilda and Samir, in welcoming you to this very special celebration of the achievements of the students and staff of the Academy. In this extraordinary year, when anything could have been possible at this time of the year for our premier event, the students here at the Academy have shown us that excellence really has no limits. We are here, we have much to celebrate, and we are embracing technology to come to you and connect with you live, and most importantly, safely. Parents, our live lecture theatre here is full of Academy staff, and they will ensure that your children are showered with applause, with smiling faces, and all of that immense pride that you send through your computer screens. In a year that really has seen the best of times and the worst of times, celebration has become precious and indeed scarce. We've all learned to value connection in a new way. Academy students who are used to the plethora of opportunities to grow their academic talents 
and also with their service mindset to pursue opportunities, have weathered cancellations and they've redistributed their efforts. They've pivoted, lived in ex and the experience of online learning and learned how they best respond in a learning in community from the comfort of home. Throughout, their service heart has remained strong. The International Baccalaureate, in its aim to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect, also seeks to balance the academic learner with the creativity, activity and service, or CAS, as we know it. The testing times of 2020 have not diminished the spirit of service in our students. Of the 1,400 CAS activities across Year 11 and Year 12, an incredible 583, or 42%, were service activities this year. Writing letters to those living in aged care, listening to young readers reading on the phone with the Smith family, homework mentors at Ashmore PCYC, helping out at Toast Tuesdays, inspiring primary school students as STEM mentors, setting up a team to represent the academy at the Queensland Schools Volleyball Cup. These are just a handful, just a representative handful of the many service activities that honour the IB mission. In hard times, we need to care about our fellow humans with kindness and connection to know that there are better days ahead. Academy students carry this service heart with them when they join the alumni network on graduating and they carry this into their personal and their professional lives in the communities that they become part of. I turn now to the main part of my address, what it means to be smart at the academy. Now, of course, all academy students are smart, but the critical learning here is about learning what to do with those smarts, and it is what they do with their smarts that matters. We are instilling a mindset, a way of academy students looking at themselves, of how they enrich themselves to positively impact the lives of others. And in a year when the global conditions have brought to the fore the realities of economic and workforce disruption, adversity brings clarity. Keeping an eye to the future and the work smarts our students will need helps to determine the actions we as a learning community need to take today. According to the experts, the traditional linear career trajectories are rapidly becoming an antiquated notion. It's more likely that a 15-year-old today will experience a portfolio career, potentially having, say, 17 different jobs over five careers in their lifetime. They might be self-employed, working for other people or doing both, whilst also collaborating with people on the other side of the world. They will spend more time focusing on people, solving more strategic problems and thinking creatively. In particular, by 2030, it is predicted that we will, on average, spend 30% more time per week learning skills on the job. Double the time at work solving problems, spend 41% more time on critical thinking and judgment, and 77% more time using science and math skills. Those so-called soft skills of verbal communication and interpersonal skills will have greater impact as will an entrepreneurial mindset. To navigate this changing world of work, our understanding of what it means to be smart also needs to shift. Since its launch in 2015, the Foundation for Young Australians' New Work Order Research Series has explored the ways in which automation, globalisation and flexibility are changing the way we work and the implications of these shifts for young Australians. Various news feeds you might you follow may suggest to you that the robots are coming to take our jobs, those routine manual tasks of today. The new work smarts thriving in the new work order identifies three work smarts needed by 2030 in response to technology. As academy students learn through their IAs, the methodology of research is critical to the significance of its importance. The report answers the question of how important a skill is in the economy, using a database sponsored by the US Department of Labor. 
This database contains one of the world's richest sources of information on the different skills and activities undertaken in different occupations. Very complex mathematical model. And when I send the report to you, you can look at that at the, in the appendix. Estimating how often a skill is used in the economy is the key challenge solved by the methodology of this study. So the first, smart learning. Today's young people will need to spend more hours learning on the job than ever before. In fact, Australian workers will spend one third of their hours at work, a 30% increase from today. Continuous learning will be part of our everyday engagement in work. Learning on the job will require us all to constantly respond to new information and new technology when making decisions. Up until now, smart people were those who made the fewest mistakes and had the highest achievement in formal learning. But technology has and will continue to change that. Automation and artificial intelligence will require a greater focus on our thinking and interpersonal skills, and we will need to learn and relearn these skills again and again on the job. Academy students are well positioned for a workforce where career security is redefined by learnability. They are encouraged to develop a risk-taking mindset to their learning, to have courage to step into the unknown. Our Year 10 students are currently investing in learning the Australian High School's cancer syllabus as part of their masterclass studies and preparing for the national competition exam next week. In 2020, we have commenced a deliberate strategy to grow opportunities in STEM beyond the classroom, informed by my participation in the Principal as STEM Leader Action Research Project. Robotics, artificial intelligence, coding, CAS activities have grown. Computer science will be introduced as a new subject in 2021. Secondly, thriving in the new work order will involve a new way of smart thinking. Young people can't rely on STEM skills alone to thrive in the future of work. To activate and fully utilise STEM effectively, enterprise skills, including problem solving, critical thinking and communication are of prime importance. So let's take the example of the average working week of a doctor. By 2030, doctors could spend nine hours a week using their maths and medical science knowledge on the job. They need maths and science to process and analyse information to diagnose illness and to develop treatment plans. But without crucial interpersonal skills, they cannot perform these tasks. Doctors will spend most of their time interacting with patients to elicit the information they need to diagnose and prescribe the most effective individualised treatment plans. In 2030, doctors will likely spend almost half their work week using their verbal communication and interpersonal skills when interacting with patients. Parents, family and friends, every meaningful conversation you have with your young person, sharing a meal together without the TV on, making sure there's eye contact in your connection, asking your young person to share their day, engaging them and developing interests that give them conversation starters, it all contributes to the communication and interpersonal skills that are so important for the, their future workplace success. With all of these advances in technology, connection remains the hero for humanity. So those STEM skills that, were needed, that are needed to activate and communicate ideas and solutions, like the problem solving and communication students do in every IB assessment, like the critical thinking, communication, creativity recently demonstrated in Australian Business Week with our Year 11 students and the newly launched Change in Action problem-based learning intensive with Year 10. Thirdly, in 2030, today's young people will need to be smart doers, working with a more entrepreneurial and independent mindset. And this is where the true benefits of this year come to the fore. In an average week, there will be less management, less organisational coordination and less teaching. The future workforce will need to be autonomous and self-directed, working on tasks independently with less supervision and support from managers or supervisors. Many more people will work externally from home or a remote office. Young people of today will need to manage their time more, make more decisions about priority and importance of tasks and be more personally motivated and driven. 
the employees of the future are going to have to motivate and drive themselves to succeed. A common quality among entrepreneurs, and as we saw in term two, just the thing that's needed for distance learning. Academy students of the Health Sciences campus are drawn to careers directed to improve the health and well-being of others. Other research conducted by the Foundation for Young Australians has shown that this cluster of workers, they're known as the carers, have a high degree of transferable skills, which makes their training in one field equipping them with skills in many other caring jobs. Even though many caring professions are considered at low risk of being impacted by automation in the near future, their skills profile will change by 2030, as will the engineers, the accountants, and so on. It is perhaps then no coincidence that those so-called soft skills of communication, empathy, being reliable, being adaptable, balanced, are at the core of a service mindset which flourishes at the academy. So I say to our learning community, this research advice should simultaneously challenge you and give you comfort in how our academy is best preparing your young person for building futures of work, a lifetime of learning and caring for themselves and humanity. Young people have plenty of cause for optimism for their futures. Undoubtedly, their experience will be different to yours and mine as a parent because they are the first to have grown up in, as a truly global generation, more aware of and more affected by events that happen a long way away from their location. If history is any indicator, more jobs and more opportunities will be created by the changes in the labour market. Academy students are well placed to face the challenge. We know firsthand they're hardworking, ambitious, well-informed and committed to developing the skills they need to embrace a life of choice in their working and professional lives. And now for your enjoyment, we share with you a 2020 video reflection of just a few of the highlights from this year.
Today, students will be recognized for their personal and academic excellence across academic subjects, as well as their consistent demonstration of IB learner profile characteristics. The curriculum of the IB Diploma Program is challenging and sophisticated, and students who achieve at a very high level are to be congratulated. At QAHS, we value global citizenship. We promote opportunities to develop international mindedness and share real world learning and culture through connecting with local and global communities. This afternoon formally recognises high achieving year 10 students with Global Learner Awards, which acknowledge demonstrated personal and academic excellence, grit, perseverance and passion and community awards. These new awards, shaped by student, staff and community feedback, emphasise the vision and values of the future stewards of our planet. I invite Year 10 students to receive their Global Learner Excellence Awards. I also invite Deputy Principal Mrs Alita Lee to present these awards to Year 10 students. For Year 10, to achieve Global Learner Grit Award, students have demonstrated a sustained passion and perseverance toward long-term goals across all subject areas. This award recognises resilience, ambition and self-control in the pursuit of goals. Criteria for eligibility include significant progress in two or more subject areas evidenced by grade percentage increase, an excellent effort identified in three or more subjects with nothing less than effort being very good in the remaining subject areas. Year 10 Global Learner Grit Awards are presented to Anton Beguino. <laughs> Joshua Bocock. <laughs> Antonique Botha. Alicia Button. Lola Capel. Sophie Caruana. Lily Durdev. And James Fang. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognising our Global Learner Grit awardees in Year 10. Andrew Fong. <laughs> Ellen Im. <laughs> Asuka Irikin. <laughs> Ella Jacobs. <laughs> German Jot Jassal. Izzy Jones. <laughs> Zoa Khan. <laughs> and Kaiser Lau. <laughs> Congratulations, students. <laughs> we further continue recognising our Year 10 Grit Global Learner awardees. Lisa Matsukai. <laughs> Jennifer Samala Landles. <laughs> Mitsuki Todd. <laughs> Julia Tarowski. <laughs> Ava Wright. Vanessa Torgler. And Ivan Yang. Congratulations, all Year 10 Global Learner Grit Award winners. Global Learner Excellence Awards are presented to Year 10 students who demonstrate personal and academic success across all facets of academy life. The criteria for Global Learner Excellence Award includes academic results based on honours board qualifications at the end of Term 3 which reporting, which includes five A's and no less than a C, 
as well as nothing less than very good for both behavior and homework in term three reporting. Selection also includes, but is not limited to, the following criteria, which evidences the values of excellence and the high reputation of QAHS. 95% attendance, including attendance at key academy events, an exemplary personal presentation. Year 10 Global Learner Excellence Awards are presented to Anton Bagino. Daniel Chow. Jonathan Chi. Alyssa Dianoz. Lily Durdev. James Fang. Sky Holman. And Samantha Hon. Congratulations, students. We continue to recognize our Global Learner Excellence Awards. Charlie Hotchner. Lara Holbert. Ellen Im. Hajin Kim. Riley Knowles. Trang An Lee. And Lauren Lukes. Congratulations, students. We continue to recognize our Global Learner Excellence Awardees. Jumimna Ma. Samir Yashri Murali. Tanya Nagrani. Celeste Nutley. Joshua Narain. Griffin Reid. Ella Sylvester. Jason Sinclair. And Kyo Suzuki. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our Global Learner Excellent Awardees in Year 10. Anna Tian. Tian Tran. Stanley Wei. Hansen Yang. Ivan Yang. And Linda Yang. Congratulations, all Year 10 Global Learner Excellence Award recipients. An exceptional achievement. Well done to all Year 10 Grit and Excellence Global Award winners. And thank you, Mrs. Lee. Good afternoon. Today, Year 11 and 12 students will be recognised for their personal and academic excellence across their academic subjects, as well as their consistent demonstration of the characteristics of the IB Learner Profile and exceptional achievements in a range of areas. We formally recognise high achieving students with academic awards. We invite Deputy Principal, Mr. Gary Brown, to present Year 11 students with their gold, silver or bronze award. Year 11, Bronze Academic Awards for a progressive IB score of 34, 35 or 36 are presented to Annie Allsop. <laughs> Uthman Armstrong. <laughs> Caden Dale. <laughs> Natalie Gerber. Louisa Her, 
Samantha Hufel. <laughs> Ziad Jean. <laughs> Cade Johnson. <laughs> and Joseph Lee. <laughs> Congratulations, students. We continue with recognising our Bronze Academic Awardees. Laura Myers. <laughs> Yuta Nia. <laughs> Gabe Pither. <laughs> Henry Tai. <laughs> Jessica Yang. Lillian Wilds. <laughs> Hazel Yim. <laughs> and Rakdo Yoshioka. <laughs> well done to all your 11 Bronze Awards recipients. Year 11 Silver Academic Awards for a progressive IB score of 37, 38 and 39 are presented to Daria Sharonova, <laughs> Sophia Gao, <laughs> Eden Grant, <laughs> Mendissa Hargraves, Michelle Irfan Vihindi, <laughs> Sathya Jayakumar, <laughs> Peter Kim, <laughs> Martin Kamitsky. <laughs> Congratulations, students. We continue with recognising our Silver Academic Awardees in Year 11. Ian Cork. <laughs> Starve Levinson. <laughs> Lena Liu. <laughs> Candice Liu. <laughs> Imogen Lowe. Nirjana Manesh Nair. <laughs> Reese Malloy. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our Silver Academic Awardees in year 11. Rowan Murray. <laughs> Hannah Parker. Yang Yang Shi, <laughs> Thomas Sheridan, <laughs> Wally Syed, <laughs> Min Han Trin, <laughs> Bianca Vidla, <laughs> Joshua Villanova. Charlie Wilson. Congratulations to Year 11 Silver Award winners. Year 11 Gold Academic Awards for a progressive IB score of 40 or more are presented to Kate Armstrong. Himath Bodenhayaka. Callum Brooks. <laughs> Lily Brown. <laughs> Lily Buchanan. <laughs> Keely Bullard. <laughs> Kelly Chan. <laughs> Kimberly Klimo. <laughs> and Ruby Cole.
Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our gold academic awardees in year 11. Saskia Devine. Benjamin Yo. Skylar Fick. Michael Hall. Harrison Hanley. Mai Hiravana. Guyan Huang. Harrison Irving. And Sharifa Issa. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our gold academic awardees in year 11. Gerald Coe. Gahanza Katasha Vidhanalage. Angela Kwan. Vince Lau. Seven Lee. Benjamin Liu. Garlock Lu. Michelle Lee. And Lachlan McKenzie. Please congratulate these students. We continue with recognizing our gold academic awardees in year 11. Diego Madronio. Hadis Mahub Niari. Harrison McConnell. Matthew McConnell. Anas Rais. Chanel Raju. And Zatosh Savari. Congratulations to these students. We further continue with recognizing our gold academic awardees. Abigail Schmidt. Momo Sagawa. Zainab Selman. Melinda Sun. Yalun Yang. CC Zhou. And Anna Zhou. Well done, excellent work, Year 11 Gold Academic Award winners, and thank you, Mr. Brown. Good afternoon, students, ladies, and gentlemen. I invite Principal Mrs. Vanessa Rebgetz to present students from Year 12 with their gold, silver, or bronze award. These awards are the pinnacle of academic achievement for students who strive towards their goals throughout their three-year journey at QAHS. Please hold your applause until all students have received their awards. Year 12 Bronze Academic Awards for a progressive IB score of 34, 35, or 36 are presented to Cassidy Fifield, Alex Goldsmith, Danielle Jean, Kirley Keynes, Angela Kim, and Haram Kim. Congratulations, students. 
We continue with recognizing our bronze academic awardees in year 12. Harry Nudson. Jamie Lee. Christopher Jun Leon Sartos. Yuriko Matsukawa. Brooke Murakami. Muhammad Mustafa. And Kai Anuki. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our bronze academic awardees in year 12. Chloe Robinson. Benjamin Shepard. Lucia Rosler. Manamai Teramalasetti. Nini Wang. Congratulations, students. <laughs> Year 12 Silver Academic Awards for a progressive IB score of 37, 38, and 39 are presented to Alia Abdurrahman, Caitlin Camilleri, Matua Clark, Shakira Caldwell, Matthew Gelden Hughes, and Daniel Goldberg. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our Silver Academic Awardees in Year 12. Aisha Karim. Sahil Lalu. Juliette Lavinge. Grace Mani. Royston Mater. Jordan Mitchell, and Johan Pereira. Congratulations, students. <laughs> we continue with recognizing our Silver Academic Awardees in Year 12. Aryan Sabet, Zuhaya Safwan, Sophia Tran, Preeti Venema, Darby Wells, and Bianca Wollstenholme. Congratulations, students. Year 12 Gold Academic Awards for, pro for progressive IB score of 40 plus. This is an exceptional achievement as of the approximate 150,000 students around the world who sit the IB diploma, only 10% achieve an IB score of 40 or more points. We can congratulate our exceptional Year 12 Gold awardees. Sarah Alay. Hunter Alka, Maggie Chi, Amy Degan, Sophie Galea,
Aisha Gibbons. Anna Grabchek. And Sophie Su. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our Gold Academic Awardees in Year 12. Callum Janetsky. Kira Jong. Soham Kale. Stephanie Callis. Rachel Liang, Aiden Lukes, Camille Lukes, Zach Maradine, Alex Min. and Margaret Moshed. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our Gold Academic Awardees in Year 12. Rhiannon Pasquale. Matilda Shirley. Ye Jin Song. Mina Story, Rio Tanabe, Lily Wang, Serene Wellington, Jody Wu, Ken Yamamoto, Angie Joe and Kelly Joe. Congratulations. Well done to all students and thank you, Mrs. Rebgetz. At QAHS, we value the connections between our community and understand the strong correlation between positive relationships and academic success. A community is defined as a group of people that care about each other and feel they belong together. The like-mindedness of QAHS students with their service heart and love of learning strengthens the positive relationships within our community. A Global Learner Community Award for Year 10 students is a highly esteemed award recognising students who support and facilitate a sense of belonging toward all community members in QAHS. These award winners are for students who consistently meet each of the criteria aligning with our PERMA Plus framework model for well-being. This student demonstrates a positive, optimistic approach to all aspects of QA life, valuing personal and academic excellence. They actively promote and facilitate positive, inclusive and collaborative relationships with commun QA community members, students and staff. They contribute to a culture where community members know one another's strengths and their weaknesses. They value personal and academic excellence and the reputation of QAHS, evidenced through but not limited to attendance at key academy events, including cross country, sport, house challenges, academy assemblies, and their personal presentation, wearing the uniform with pride. They demonstrate purpose in their daily actions through their personal commitment to their studies, QAHS, and service to the school, as well as the broader community. The student celebrates the accomplishments of themselves, as well as the accomplishments of others. We invite year coordinator, Year Coordinator, Ms. Gemma Day, to present Year 10 students with their Global Learner Community Awards. Year 10 Global Community Awards are awarded to 
Anton Beguino. Lola Capel. Jonathan Chi. Lily Durdev. Kaylin Godfrey. Charlie Horchner. Lara Holbert. Zoa Khan. And Hajin Kim. Congratulations, students. We continue to recognize our Year 10 Global Community Award recipients. Riley Knowles. Janvi Mackenji. Samia Morali. Tanya Negrani. Joshua Narain. Celeste Nutley. Radhika Patel. Nia Pajamranafat. And Tristan Quinn. Congratulations, students. <laughs> we continue to recognize our Global Learner Community Awards. Summer Rao. Sarah Rao. Kago Seki. Anna Tian. Ray Winson. Linda Yang. And Caitlin Yeah. Congratulations, students, and thank you, Miss Day. We now have the pleasure of introducing Year 11 and Year 12 students who are recipients of the Academy Special Awards to students who consistently demonstrate the attributes of the International Baccalaureate Learner. IB programs aim to develop all Academy students as internationally minded people who become inquirers. We nurture our curiosity, developing skills for inquiry and research. We know how to learn independently and with others, learning with enthusiasm and sustaining our love for learning throughout life. Knowledgeable, we explore knowledge across a range of disciplines, engaging with issues and ideas of both local and global significance. Thinkers, we use critical and creative thinking skills to analyze and take responsible actions on complex problems. We exercise initiative in making reasoned and ethical decisions. Communicators, we express ideas and information confidently and creatively in more than one language and in many ways. We collaborate effectively, listening carefully to the perspectives of others in individuals and groups. Principled, we act with integrity, honesty, a sense of fairness and justice, and with respect for the dignity of the rights of people everywhere. Open-minded, we critically appreciate our own cultures and personal histories, as well as the values and traditions of others. We seek and evaluate a range of points of view and we are willing to grow from the experience. Caring, we show empathy, compassion and respect. We have a positive commitment to service and we make a positive difference in the lives and the world around us. Risk takers, we approach uncertainty with forethought and determination, working independently and cooperatively to explore new ideas and innovative strategies. We are resourceful and resilient in the face of challenges and of change. Balanced. We understand the importance of balancing different aspects of our lives, intellectual, physical, and emotional, to achieve well-being for ourselves and for others. Reflective. We thoughtfully consider the world and our own ideas and experience. We work to understand our strengths and our weaknesses in order to support our learning and personal development. 
The IB Learner Profile details the desirable attributes for an IB student to acquire as they experience and progress through their IB diploma studies. The year coordinators will present special award badges to students in year 11 and year 12 who demonstrate these desirable qualities of the IB Learner Profile. I invite Year 11 Coordinator, Dr. Weston, to present the following students from Year 11 who have been nominated as recipients for a special award for their demonstration of the attributes of the IB Learner. Year 11 IB Learner Awards go to Annie Allsop, Lily Buchanan, Eloise Bentley, Keely Bullard, Morgan Clayfield Hoskin, Saskia Devine, Sophia Gao, Harrison Hanley, Louisa Herr. Congratulations, students. We continue to recognize our IB Learner awardees in year 11. Alicia Kennedy. Gahanta Katasha Vidhanalaj. Sasha Lee Kuzminov. Ian Kwok. Stav Levinson. Candice Leo. Garlock Lu. Michelle Lee. Congratulations, students. We continue with recognizing our Year 11 IB Learner awardees. Diego Madronio. Rowan Murray. Brianna Overbeek. Olivia Riley. Abigail Schmidt. Thomas Sheridan. Minhan Trin. And Cece Zhou. Congratulations to all students and thank you, Dr. Weston. I invite Year 12 Coordinator, Mr. Patrick Emery, to present the following awards. From Year 12, IB Learner Special Awards go to Aliyah Abdurrahman, Sarah Alay, Matua Clark, Shakira Caldwell, Sophie Galia, Aisha Gibbons, Liam Harker, and Callum Janetsky. Congratulations, students. We continue recognizing our IB Learner awardees in year 12. Soham Kale, Stephanie Callis, Sean Kim, Juliet Lavinge, Rachel Young,
Aiden Lukes, Camille Lukes, Zach Maradine, and Ema Rogers. Congratulations, students. We continue recognizing our IB Learner awardees in year 12. Yejin Song. Mina Story. Sophia Tran. Jody Wu. Ken Yamamoto. Kelly Jo. And Angie Jo. Congratulations, Year 12 students, and thank you, Mr. Emery. Performing a beautiful song in Mandarin ent entitled Blue and White Porcelain or Tsinghua Tsi in Mandarin. Please welcome Year 11 students Sasha Lee Kuzmanov and Rowan Murray. Pegola 我在等你你曾默思深去悲剧云开了结局
。如壮士的青花，字字个字美丽，你安他下雨。年级的学生为我们带来这么精彩的表演。Thank you, Year 11 students, for that wonderful performance. Throughout 2020, Academy students have excelled across a breadth of creativity, activity, and service areas, and have been formally acknowledged at Academy assemblies and in our campus news publication. Their achievements form an integral part of their CAS component and are reflected upon as a part of the IB core. This afternoon, we make special mention of students who have, whilst representing QAHS, excelled in sport, academic pursuits, and a range in a range of district, regional, state, or Australian-wide competitions. I invite Mr. Daniel Graham, 2020 QAHS Sport Coordinator, to present students with an exceptional achievement badge for their achievements in sport. The following students have been successful at district or regional level sport. Congratulations to Matthew Geldenhuis for achievements in rugby union selection in the South Coast and Queensland rugby union team. Michael Hall for achievements in athletics. Michael was a state representative at the national athletics championships, placing fifth in 3,000 meters under 17, sixth 1,500 meter under 17 at national level, and Queensland state champion for 1,500 meters and second place for the 3,000 meters. Ella Jacobs, for achievements in equestrian, Ella qualified to represent QAHS at state level in equestrian Australian interschool state championships in the secondary equitation and secondary one meter classes. Selection for the 15 to 18 years regional jumping show jumping squad. Stephanie Callis for achievements in soccer, selection in the South Coast soccer team. Mohammed Mustafa for achievements in rugby union, South Coast rugby union team selection. Joshua Narain for achievements in triathlon, selection for the South Coast triathlon team. Congratulations, students. Well done to all QAHS athletes, and thank you, Mr. Graham. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics touch every aspect of today's world, and the innovations that emerge from these fields underpin our global economy. At QAHS, we embrace the challenge and ensure our students are well prepared to take advantage of these transformative opportunities. Our students harness their passion for service, change, and innovation through engagement in STEM opportunities, and actively participate in a range of activities. Including mentoring primary school students, where they develop problem solvers, critical and creative thinkers. Again this year, every Year 10 student had the opportunity to gain a certificate two in measurement and sampling, and certificate three in laboratory techniques, demonstrating the commitment from the science team to prepare our students for research in a real-world setting. This year, science students have dedicated many hours to honing their titration skills in the Royal Australian Institute of Chemistry (RACI) 2020. QAHS Titration Club. This group of students put in many hours before school, under the guidance of Mr. Tony Nicholson, in preparation for the annual awards at the competition. Students who achieved an official award are to be recognised. At QAHS, student teams achieved third, fifth, and seventh place in Queensland in a field of 99 entry teams. These teams are now eligible to compete in the Queensland State Competition later this year. Research underpins a large proportion of the students' work as they progress through the IB Diploma Program. At QAHS, the highest level of research are to be recognised. For example, the nationally accredited CSIRO Crest Awards is a program supporting students to design and carry out their own open-ended science investigations or technology projects. QAHS has been awarded 95 Gold Crest Awards since we were eligible to in 2009. This represents more than 25% of the total CSIRO Gold Crest awards presented in the history of their awards. And 2020 is no exception. 
36 QAHS students were this year awarded either a silver or gold CREST award for their research in the CSIRO CREST program. The CREST program aims to progress the development of an inquiry culture in our educa education system, particularly in the subject areas of science and technology, incorporating engineering. The key features highlighting the rigor of this award are 100 hours of research within a 12 month period, original innovative research in an area not previously studied, real world re relevance of the research, and a mentor relationship with a recognized expert in the field of research. Our students' research topics range from investigating the browning of avocados to the cognitive fatigue levels in high school students here in Australia. I invite Mr. Paul Mitchell, Head of Science and Enrichment, to prevent, present students with an exceptional achievement badge for their achievements in their scientific research. Over 100 hours of work are devoted to projects recognized by a Gold Crest Award, an exceptional level of achievement that few students in Australia reach. Join with me in congratulating our 2020 Gold Crest Award recipients, as well as acknowledging their Griffith University mentors. Alia Abdurham, mentored by Dr. Ian Koch, Senior Lecturer at Griffith School of Environmental Science. What is the prebiotic effect of regionally harvested Theobroma cacao, Dutch, Ecuadorian and Peruvian, as a metabolic promotive supplement in growth media on host enteric Escherichia coli K12 in the planktonic state as measured by optical density in vitro. Sarah Alay, mentored by Dr. Mendy Bakitari, managing owner of Arundel Kempro. What is the effect of different concentrations of alkaline solutions, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide and the different alkaline solutions on the rate of green synthesis and the size of silver nanoparticles quantified through UV visible spectrophotometry. Alex Goldsmith, mentored by Dr. Leanne Kenway, senior lecturer at Griffith University School of Medical Science. To what extent does long-term exposure to cognitive Cognitive fatigue, measured by average cognitive fatigue recorded in a week, affects the ability for Australian high school students to resist fatigue during a one kilometre tri time trial run on a treadmill, comparing the difference in time between time trials conducted at baseline and post-cognitive fatiguing task. Kara Zhong, mentored by Dr Amanda Cox, Senior Research Fellow at Griffith University School of Medical Science. Can citric acid enhance the antibacterial activity of Nissen, a bacteriocin derived from Lactococcus lactis, and work synergistically to inhibit the growth of Escherichia coli K12 biofilms? Megan Lalu, mentored by Dr. Alan Munn, Senior Lecturer, Griffith School of Medical Science. To what extent can different species of native Australian plantae, swamp banksia, Swamp Lily, Club Rush, Pink Cascade, and Matt Rush neutralize alterating pH and remove pollutants from rivers through methods of photoremediation, specifically rhizofiltration, measured by the phosphate concentration and pH of the water treated for a period of over four weeks. Megan also received first place at the Gold Coast Science Competition in the category of Environmental Action Planning. Jordan Mitchell, mentored by Dr. Will Bennett, Senior Lecturer, Griffith Environmental Futures Research Institute. What are the bioabsorption abilities of the environmentally common microorganisms Corella vulgaris and Penicillium chirostogenum to remediate waterways of toxic divalent metals ions such as Cu2 plus in environmental conditions of increasing temperature and NaCl concentrations, measured at 630 nanometers absorptions using visible spectrum spectroscopy. Sophia Tran, mentored by Dr. Amanda Cox, Senior Research Fellow, Griffith School of Medical Science. What is the effect of excessive or limited iron using FeCl2 and EDTA in the control of E. coli growth and biofilm formation? Sophia is also recognized as the 2020 QUT STEM Intern Ambassador. Kelly Zhao, 
mentored by Dr. Andrew Pearson, Senior Lecturer, Griffith School of Medical Science. What is the effectiveness of varying ratios of ellascorbic acid and citric acid in inhibiting the brownness process of avocados, quantified through UV visible spectrometry? And Angie Zhao, mentored by Dr. M.D. Farhadul Islam and Dr. Jian Khan, Griffith University. Can an anti-human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2, nanobody selectively enter HER2 receptor-bound cell? At what concentration can the nanobody enter HER2 positive breast cancer cell effectively, allowing for a new method of targeted cancer therapy that is cell-specific for highly potent drug delivery? Angie was also selected as one of four members of the Australian team that participated in the International Biology Olympiad. The team achieved a medal in the international competition involving over 70 countries. Angie is the recipient of the prestigious Peter Doherty Outstanding Senior Student STEM Award. Angie was also awarded first place in the Gold Coast Science Competition category of scientific investigations. Congratulations, students, with these outstanding achievements in science. We continue the recognition of exceptional achievements in science. The following students have been successful at attaining exceptional achievements in science forums, competitions, and representing ambassadorial roles. Again this year, many QAHS students received awards at the Gold Coast Science Competition. Our academy again won for the 13th year in a row the most number of awards in the senior school section at the Gold Coast Science Competition, winning the best overall senior high school in the competition. We continue to recognise students for achieving first place in the Gold Coast Science Competition in their respective categories. These students are also Science Teachers Association of Queensland award nominees with the announcement to be made at the University of Queensland later this term. Congratulations to Lily Durdev, First Place Communicating Science, Theory of Contagion Applied to the COVID-19 Outbreak. Tian Tran, First Place Communicating Science, Investigating the Effects of Ocean Acidification on Marine Biodiversity. Mali Jobert, First Place Engineering and Technology Projects, Construction of an Electromagnetic Car. Sophie Su, GUT STEM Camp Scholar for 2019 and 2020. Gahanza Katasha Vidhanalage. Top four nationally in the 2020 Australian High School Cancer Competition, culminating in an internship with the Olivia Newton John Cancer Research Institute in Melbourne. Gahanza is also recognised for her selection to attend the National Youth Science Forum. Seven Lee. Also achieved top four nationally in the 2020 Australian High School Cancer Competition, culminating in an internship with the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute in Melbourne. Starv Levinson, 2020 GUT Young Accelerator Ambassador. And Benjamin Liu, also a 2020 QUT Young Accelerator Ambassador. 2020 sees three of our students selected to attend the prestigious National Youth Science Forum in January 2021 in Canberra. Students participate in a rigorous selection process to join other young Australians to be the next generation of leading scientists and engineers supporting a sustainable future for our nation. Congratulations to Lily Brown. And Garlock Lu. Garlock is also recognised as a recipient of the 2020 Australian Olympic Changemaker Award. We congratulate these students for their achievements and ambassadorial roles in science. This year, our students have participated virtually in innovative, transformational opportunities in global contexts, gaining hands-on problem-solving capabilities in, in entrepreneurial and corporate simulations, commercializing leading edge technology. Please welcome Ms. Tammy Gilbert, Head of Department for Teaching and Learning to present our Innovation and Entrepreneurship Awards. The entrepreneurial spirit and innovation of our students was harnessed in the AI for Good Challenge, where students are given the opportunity to dream about how artificial intelligence could be used for good in the world. Two QAHS teams, 
entered the competition, finishing first and third in the state finals. Today, we formally, formally recognised the state winner, Team Navi, who addressed the problem of maximising capacity in Australia's hospitals. Their solution, Navi, is an AI telecommunications device that aims to improve the efficiency of medical facilities by reducing overcrowding and decreasing patients' wait times in hospitals. Please congratulate our state winning team and national representatives, Team Navi. My Hiravana. Candice Leo. And Garlock Lu. Congratulations, students, and thank you, Ms. Gilbert. I now invite Mr. Anir Lal, Student Leadership Coordinator, to present the next group of Community Leadership Awards. We are fortunate to have an association with the Ashmore Rotary Club who have provided the Rotary International All-Rounder Award to an Academy student. This is in recognition of outstanding leadership and community involvement. The recipient of the QAHS 2020 Rotary International All-Rounder Award is Interact Club's President, Darby Wells. Darby will be presented with a monetary prize as part of this award at the Ashmore Rotary Club's All-Rounder Award evening to be held in November. Our congratulations go to the following students for their leadership and appointment to their ambassadorial roles with service to our community. Saskia Devine, selection for Queensland Youth Member of Parliament, Skylar Fick, selection for a national ambassadorial role for the United Nations Youth Australia Forum, one of only 12 students selected by application, Eden Grant, selection for Queensland Youth Member of Parliament, Mai Hiravana, Selection for the Queensland Government Ministerial Student Advisory Council member and Juliet Lavinge. Elected as our Indigenous Ambassador representing Queensland at the National Schools Constitutional Convention, Juliet is also recognised as the recipient of Queensland Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander Foundation Young Indigenous Leader Award. Congratulations, students. We continue to recognise students who have demonstrated outstanding leadership through the achievement of the Duke of Edinburgh, Edinburgh Award, Award Program, achieving their Bronze Award. Congratulations to Sarah Alai. Megan Lelou. Matilda Shirley. And Nini Wang. Congratulations, students. For the past two years, QAHS has won the most successful school in the Gold Coast Debating Association competition. Whilst just this year the competition was structured differently, the following students were awarded grand final champions in the senior B division of the competition. Congratulations to our debating leaders, Saskia Devine. Eden Grant. Louisa Herr, Abigail Schmidt, Harrison Hanley. Harrison is also recognised for his team achievement as district winner in the Avat Trophy competition. The Avat Trophy competition engages high school students across Australia in world affairs and issues through debating mock security council resolutions. In pairs, Delegates are assigned a country and one resolution a week prior to the competition. We also congratulate Evat Trophy District winning team member, C.C. Zhou. This year, we also had a number of students representing QAHS at the A.B. Patterson public speaking competition. Please congratulate first place winner in the senior section for 2019 and 2020, Soham Kale. Soham is also recognised 
for winning the prestigious 180 EE held last term. This competition allows year 12 students to present their 4,000 word extended essay in 180 seconds. Congratulations, students. We continue with our Exceptional Leadership Awards by recognizing the Griffith University 2020 Future Leader recipients, Ayesha Gibbons and Aidan Lukes. Aidan is also recognized as a recipient of the 2020 Australian Olympic Changemaker Award. We also recognize Annie Fang, for selection to the Queensland Conservatorium, Young Conservatorium Program for Classical Voice. Congratulations students and we thank you Mr. Lal. We invite Mr. Alan Craig Ward, Head of Department of the International Baccalaureate and Pathways to present the next awards. It is the requirement of the IB Diploma Program that students study at least one language subject. The main emphasis of the modern language courses is on the acquisition and use of language in a range of contexts and for different purposes, while at the same time, promoting an understanding of another culture through the study of its language. Today, we recognize students for their selection into ambassadorial roles. Please congratulate Year 11 student, Keely Bullard, the language ambassador for the International Student Exchange Program to Japan, from November 2020 to January 2021, a two-year, a two-month academic program promoting language acquisition and culture immersion. We also congratulate the following Year 11 students who were selected by the application for the 2020 to 2021 Switzerland Germany Global Student Exchange Program. Mendisa Hargraves. Laura Myers and Thomas Sheridan. This program has demonstrated change and adaptability in our current circumstances by pivoting to a formal online language exchange program where students are partnered with international students through formal projects and language engagement. Well done students and thank you, Mr. Craig Ward. We now invite Annie Olsop and Eloise Bentley, accompanied by Zach Maradine on the bass guitar, Ken Yamamoto on drums, and Daniel Tao on keyboard, to perform Tout le Bonheur du Monde by Kids United. On vous souhaite tout le bonheur du monde et que quelqu'un vous donne la main. Que votre chemin évite les bombes qu'il mène vers des camps jardins. On vous souhaite tout le bonheur du monde pour aujourd'hui et pour demain. Que votre soleil éclaircisse l'ombre qui brille d'amour au quotidien. Puisque l'avenir vous appartient, puisqu'on contrôle pas votre destin, que votre envol est pour demain. Tout ce qu'on a vous s'offrir Nous saurait toujours vous s'offrir Dans cette liberté à venir Puisqu'on sera pas toujours là Comme on le fut au premier pas On vous souhaite tous les bonheurs du monde Et que quelqu'un vous tende la main Que votre chemin évite les bombes Qu'il mène vers des comme jardin On vous souhaite tous les bonheurs du monde Aujourd'hui comme pour demain Que votre soleil éclaircisse l'ombre Que brille d'amour au quotidien Toute une vie s'offre devant vous Ton rêve au vivre jusqu'à bout Sans monter un joie au rendez-vous Libre de faire vos propres choix De choisir quelle sera votre voie Et où celle-ci vous emmènera J'espère juste que vous prenez le temps De profiter de chaque instant 
on vous souhaite tous les bonheurs du monde et que quelqu'un vous tende la main. Que votre chemin est vite les bons, qui mène vers des camps jardins. On vous souhaite tous les bonheurs du monde pour aujourd'hui comme pour demain. Que votre soleil éclaire si sombre, qu'il brille d'amour au quotidien. On vous souhaite tous les bonheurs du monde et que quelqu'un vous tende la main. Que votre chemin est vite les bons. On vous souhaite tous les bonheurs du monde pour aujourd'hui comme pour demain. Que votre soleil éclaire si sombre, que brille d'amour au quotidien. Merci beaucoup. For just the second time in Academy history, today our special award recipients don't know what award they're getting. This includes our announcement of the Academy Optimist, our school's best. I know, Samir, it's so exciting. I want to turn the page and see who won the award so badly. No, Matilda, remain principled. As Ethan reminded us so many years last year, this will set the scene for many exciting years to come, waiting in anticipation for the announcement of these prestigious awards. So, without further ado, I invite Head of Department of Global Learners, Ms. Rachel Hart, to present the following special awards. Our Academy liaises with a broad range of community organizations in our CAS program, and we express our appreciation for the cultural richness they bring to life at the Academy. We are proud to present the Multicultural Council Gold Coast Service to the Community Award. This award is presented to a student who has demonstrated exceptional service at QAHS and the broader community. The student has been an active member of the Ashmore PCYC Youth Management Team for the past three years, a Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award recipient, a keen QAHS member of the Community Garden, Knitting for Charity member, supporter of the Animal Welfare League through the Million Paws Walk, and various other school service pursuits. This student has a true service heart and always puts others first in everything she does. The 2020 MCC GC Service to the Community Award goes to Megan Lalu. Congratulations, Megan, and we thank you for your service. We now have the pleasure to present the Caltech's Best All Rounder Award. This award goes to a very worthy recipient who excels across all facets of academic and extracurricular endeavors. The recipient is a student who is well balanced, who positively contributes to all aspects of academy life. Throughout his QAHS journey, the student has represented the school in district, regional, and state, in athletics and cross country, as well as, as, well as demonstrating grit and perseverance with teammates through his participation in grit training and the Kokoda Challenge. The student has been elected by peers as a student executive member this year, representing Ventus House. We congratulate Calm Janetsky. <laughs> Congratulations, Calm. Our Academy takes part in the Australian Defence Force Long Tan Leadership and Teamwork Awards. An extensive nomination and shortlisting process determine the two students who were recognised for their consistent demonstration of the values epitomised by this award. The award recipients receive a certificate and a monetary prize. We congratulate from Year 10, Anton Beguino. And from year 12, we congratulate Aidan Lukes. <laughs> Congratulations. This year, Defence Force Recruiting is introducing an inaugural ADF Future Innovators Award 
open to Australian high school students currently studying and completing either year 10 or year 12. The award will recognise recipients' science and mathematics abilities while highlighting the values of the Navy, Army and Air Force placed on STEM skills and STEM career opportunities within the Defence Force. Award recipients demonstrate motivation, innovation and achievement in a STEM-related field and receive a monetary prize. We congratulate from Year 10, Lara Holbert. And from Year 12, we congratulate Stephanie Callas. Congratulations, students, on your well-deserved awards and recognition. And thank you, Ms. Hart. So, Jambi, how are you enjoying the event so far? It's been a great afternoon, Josh. Amazing to see so many of our fellow Academy of Students' achievements, and I think it really is inspiring. And also, so many wonderful achievements for our wonderful Academy staff. On behalf of the students of the Academy, I would like to thank our staff team for their commitment to our successes. Our staff are generous with their time. They promote and support mutually respectful professional relationships with students and consistently demonstrate their de dedication to our achievements and success. They are the engine of the, the academy, attending to student, parent, and community members with excellent attention and care, always with our students' well-being at the heart of their actions. Please join with me in thanking our academy staff. Members of staff have received special recognition this year. We invite Principal Reb Getz to present the following awards to members of staff. Today, we would particularly like to recognise the achievements of Mrs. Pearl Donovan, shortlisted nominee for the Queensland College of Teachers, Betty Watts OBE Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Award, one of six nominees shortlisted from 400 nominations. Pearl Donovan's teaching career has taken her to Hong Kong, the USA, Canada, and to Australia here in Queensland, of course. In each of her 45 years of teaching, Pearl has consistently had a positive impact on all who are fortunate to be taught by her or work with her. Pearl has been a valued staff member here at the Queensland Academy for Health Sciences since 2008, writing the English curriculum program before the official opening of our school. Pearl Donovan has been involved in three major changes to the curriculum since QAHS's inception. Her knowledge of her students, colleagues and the wider community helped to develop the best offerings for QAHS students. This year, to develop the best off Pearl is teaching Year 12 Literature High Level and two Year 12 Lit Language and Literature Standard Level classes, plus Year 10 Pre-IB Language and Literature and also a Year 10 Global Learners class. As we all know, Ms Donovan takes a keen interest in helping all. The Betty Watts OBE Outstanding Contribution to Teaching winner will be announced on World Teachers Day the 31st of October. We wish Ms Donovan all the best and you are the winner in our eyes. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, wait. Quite fittingly, Ms Donovan is also recognised as QAHS nominee for the Gold Coast Secondary Principal Association's Excellence in Teaching. Thank you, Ms Donovan. We continue to recognise Mrs Donnell de Vorms, Graduate Certificate in Educational Studies in the field of Psychology Education. Mr. Roy Bernardino, 
Excellence in Educational Support, Gold Coast Secondary Principals Association Educational Excellence Award nominee. Mr. Paul Mitchell, Excellence in Educational Leadership, Gold Coast Secondary Principals Association, Educational Excellence Award nominee. <laughs> Congratulations to our award-winning teaching staff and thank you, Mrs. Repgetz. This year, we are proud to introduce our third language in the curriculum, offering Spanish. Spanish is the mother tongue for an estimated 400 million people worldwide, with 21 countries classing the Romance language as their official language. We welcome Year 10 students, Alyssa Dinos, Zohar Khan, and Kago Seki to recite the Spanish poem, Se lo que es esperar, by Angel Gonzalez. I know what it is to wait. Se lo que es esperar. Esperé tantos días y tantas cosas en mi vida. Los inviernos tediosos, esperando. esperando, esperando. Los veranos bajo el sol, esperando. Esperando, esperando. El luminoso y amarillo otoño, vea estación para esperar. E incluso la primavera abierta a todo espera. Más próxima que nunca a realizarse. Me han visto inútilmente. Pero firme, tenaz, ilusionado, en el lugar y la hora de la cita, hasta la fe y el corazón en punto. Alta la fe y el corazón, dispuesto, igual que tantas veces, aquí sigo, en la esquina del tiempo, vendrá pronto. Tras un limpio cristal de sol, de lluvia o de aire, acodado en el claro mirador de los vientos, mientras pasan y pasan los meses y los días. Sé lo que es esperar. Esperé tantos días y tantas cosas en mi vida. Thank you for the beautiful poem. We are now at the part of the Academy Awards and celebration where the prestigious scholarships and monetary prize awards granted by our university partners are presented. I invite Mr. Paul Haydock, QAH's guidance officer, to present the next special awards. The Griffith Health Award for Excellence and the IB Corps recognizes the importance of the IB Diploma Central Components. Griffith Health has provided a monetary award to a year 12 student for excellence in the International Baccalaureate Corps. The award goes to Angie Jo. Congratulations, Angie. The Griffith University Partnership School Sir Samuel Scholarship Scheme, one of Australia's most comprehensive, generous and flexible scholarship programs for academic excellence. The Griffith University Partnership School Sir Samuel Scholarship recipient is Zach Maradine. Congratulations, Zach. The Australian National University offers a range of scholarship opportunities for students each year. The 2020 ANU College of Engineering and Computer Science in Advanced Computing Research and Development Female Excellence Scholarship is awarded to Amy Dagon. Congratulations, Amy, and thank you, Mr. Haydock. Each year, Bonn University awards a small number of Vice-Chancellor Elite Scholarships to Australia's most outstanding Year 12 students. 
the Vice Chancellor Elite Scholarship Awards 100% tuition remission for either a single or combined degree with an estimated value of $105,000, as well as unique opportunities during the recipient study, including the Vice Chancellor's Mentoring Program, which connects scholars with an influential corporate mentor. We invite Mr. Gary Brown to present the next scholarship recipient. Vice Chancellor Elite Scholars are selected on the basis of exceptional academic achievement, proven leadership ability, and personal character. The scholarship's vigorous selection process is highly competitive and includes a number of assessments that are conducted during a selection weekend held at Bonn University. Bonn University is proud to award a Vice Chancellor's Elite Scholarship with a conditional letter of offer to a student who will commence a Bachelor of Biomedical Medicine and Bachelor of Laws in January 2021. Congratulations, congratulations Stephanie Callis. Congratulations, Stephanie, and thank you to Mr. Brown. Since the inception of the QAHS House System, the Academy Challenge activities have been many and varied, with teams and individuals involved in an extensive range of local, state, and national activities, competitions, quizzes, sporting, and cultural events. Just some of the Academy Challenges activities have included virtual cross country, inter house sports, art competitions. The Brain B Challenge, National Chemistry Quiz, Debating, Science Survivor, Math Challenges, and the range of Australian competitions that students have engaged in. This friendly competition has resulted in many outstanding outcomes and has generated an impressive number of house points for 2020, with the winning house placing changing several times in the recent weeks. I invite 2020 Sports Coordinator Mr. Daniel Graham to present the house trophy. And the winning house for the QAHS Academy Challenge for 2020 is Ventus. <laughs> Congratulations, Ventus members, and thank you, Mr. Graham. With many talented, successful, and hardworking students at QAHS, the award of Ducks and runner-up is a significant achievement. The Ducks, our top academic student, and Proxima Accessit, second place or runner-up to Ducks, will be determined from IB final results released in January. This year, for the first time, our QAHS Academy Optimus will be announced today. Academy Optimus is the Latin translation for school's best. This is the school's best student using criteria that includes grades and marks from all assessment components up until the date of our Academy Awards. A monetary prize for the top year 12 student to support them in their next phase of learning is provided by the Queensland Academy's Health Sciences Campus Scholarship Fund. We invite Principal Miss Vanessa Rebgetz to present the award Academy Optimus to the top performing academic student from the 2020 year 12 cohort. This student will also craft and deliver the valedictory speech at the Year 12 2020 Valedictory Ceremony in November. We are pleased to announce that there are a number of Year 12 students predicted to perform in the top 1-2% to of IB graduates worldwide this year, with very few percent points separating those shortlisted for the 2020 Academy Optimus Award. This award of Academy Optimus or School's Best Student 2020 for the Queensland Academy's Health Sciences Campus is awarded to Camille Lukes. <laughs> well done, Camille, and congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Rebgetz. Our year 12 students promise to be influential people who will make a significant impression on the world as they move into the next phase of their lives and various exciting careers and pursuits. 
The following presentation captures in a visual sense their transition from Queensland academies to the broader world. They take with them a courage and optimism to face challenge and seize opportunity, an international mindset that will serve them well and the ultimate superpower, the attributes of an IB learner. They also take with them our very best wishes for the future.
year 12 students for your significant contributions to the academy. And we look forward to you continuing to remain connected with QAHS. As beginning students in year 10, 2018, you have taken the opportunity to shape the academy and its culture. Now as 2020 year 12 students, you have shown maturity, leadership, and understanding of how you can impact the world. To our parents and community celebrating with us via live stream today, thank you for taking the time to share in our successes. In these extraordinary times, we are grateful for the support of our parents, families, and friends. We appreciate your support of us and our education here at this extraordinary school. Ladies and gentlemen, special guests, staff, and students, thank you for joining us today for the 2020 Academy Awards celebration. Our event concludes with the stage band performing Just Haven't Met You Yet by Michael Buble.